At the Paris Olympics, Jordan Chilas walked into Bercy Arena with a heart full of hope and a mission to rewrite her Tokyo story. After rigorous training and a spectacular Beyonce-inspired floor routine, she seemed poised for redemption. But then, the two-per-country rule dashed her all-around dreams, leaving her and her fans wondering, how could such a talented gymnast miss out on the finals by just 0.067 points? Um, I mean, two months ago, I have nothing this like. She's been amazing, a friendship. She's like a big sister to me. Since the Tokyo Olympics, Jordan Chili's has been on a determined path to make her mark in Paris. After the heartbreak of not qualifying for the individual finals in Tokyo, where she had a rough day on the balance beam and uneven bars, Chili's knew she had to bounce back stronger than ever. Her journey back to the top was anything but easy. She spent countless hours in the gym, honing her skills and perfecting every routine. Her training regimen was intense, focusing not only on physical conditioning, but also on mental resilience. You could say she was practically living in the gym, working on every detail, from her landings to her expressions. I mean, this one is it's kind of- Olympic medal. Yeah, it's an Olympic medal, so you know, you gotta still kind of be a little- Chile's also had to overcome the psychological hurdle of her previous Olympic experience. It's one thing to be physically prepared, but the mental game is just as crucial in gymnastics. Chiles worked closely with her coaches and sports psychologists to build confidence and focus, reminding herself that she had the talent and drive to compete at the highest level. This journey wasn't just about mastering new skills, it was about finding a new mindset, one that embraced pressure and turned it into performance. Going into the Paris Olympics, the expectations for Jordan Chiles were sky high. After all, she was part of the powerhouse USA Gymnastics team, a squad that's known for dominating the sport. There was a buzz around her return, with fans and commentators alike speculating on her chances of redemption. The narrative was set. This was Chilets' opportunity to rewrite her Olympic story and leave behind the ghosts of Tokyo. Everyone was eager to see her bounce back, and there was a lot of talk about her potentially being a breakout star of the games. But reality can be harsh, especially in a sport as unpredictable as gymnastics. Despite her best efforts and a solid performance, Chilis faced an unexpected setback. The two per country rule, which limits the number of gymnasts from each nation in the finals, became a stumbling block, even though she placed fourth overall in the all-around qualifications. Behind only her teammates Simone Biles and Suni Lee, and Brazil's Rebecca Andrade, the rule meant she wouldn't advance to the finals. It was a bitter pill to swallow, especially after all the hard work and preparation. As Jordan Chiles stepped onto the floor of the Bercy Arena for the Subdivision 2 qualifications, the air was thick with anticipation. This was her moment to shine, to put the struggles of Tokyo behind her and show the world what she could do. The first event was the balance beam, and everyone knows this apparatus can make or break a gymnast's day. Chile's started strong, but the balance beam can be unforgiving. She had a slight wobble on her front aerial and another check on her BHS, back handspring, to LSO, layout step out. Despite these minor hiccups, she managed to stay on the beam and complete her routine. Her score? A solid 13.600. Not a disaster, but not the flawless performance she hoped for. Next up was the floor exercise, where Chilas came into her own. Performing a Beyonce-inspired routine, she exuded confidence and sass, captivating the audience and judges alike. You could see the joy in her performance. It was like she was dancing through her worries. She nailed the Chuso Vitina, Chuso, a challenging move, and followed up with a front full to full in. Even though she had a small hop forward, her energy and charisma made up for it. The routine ended with a full twisting peaked Shushunova, leaving the crowd buzzing. Her final score for the floor exercise was an impressive 13.866, the highest in her subdivision. The vault was another high point for Chiles. She executed a double-twisting Yurchenko for her first vault, which was clean and powerful, albeit with a slight hop back. Her second vault, a Lopez, was just as strong, with only a small step on the landing. 
these vaults earned her an average score of 14.216, showcasing her strength and precision. The judges' critiques were mostly positive, praising her technique and the height she achieved. Finally, Chillis faced the uneven bars, an event where she has both struggled and shown in the past. Her routine started with a Maloney half, followed by a piked Jaeger. There was a moment of suspense when she seemed a bit far on her pack, but she recovered beautifully. She continued with a Maloney and a Ginger and capped it off with a full out. Despite a small step on her dismount, the routine was solid, earning her a score of 14.266. It was clear that Chiles had put in the work, refining her skills and gaining the consistency she needed. The two per country rule is a regulation in gymnastics that can feel pretty harsh, especially when you see talented athletes like Jordan Chilas get affected by it. This rule limits the number of gymnasts from any single country who can advance to the individual finals, specifically the all-around and apparatus finals to just two per event. The idea behind this is to prevent powerhouse nations like the US, China, and Russia from sweeping the finals, giving athletes from smaller or less dominant countries a chance to compete and possibly win medals. Now this sounds fair in theory, right? It aims to level the playing field and showcase a more diverse range of talent. But in practice, it can lead to some heartbreaking moments. Take Jordan Chiles, for example. She put on a stellar performance during the qualifications at the Paris Olympics, scoring well across all events. Her total score was good enough to place her fourth overall in the all-around standings. That should have been more than enough to earn her a spot in the finals, considering the top 24 gymnasts typically qualify. But here's where the two per country rule threw a wrench into things. Even though Chiles was fourth overall, she was the third highest scorer from Team USA, behind Simone Biles and Suni Lee. Because only two gymnasts from each country can compete in the all-around final, Chiles was left out, despite her score being better than many of the gymnasts who did qualify. It's like training your heart out, performing at your best, and still being told, sorry, not this time. It's tough to swallow, especially when you consider how narrow the margin was. Chiles missed out by just 0.067 points behind Suni Lee. This isn't the first time the two per country rule has caused a stir. Back at the 2016 Rio Olympics, a similar situation unfolded. Simone Biles, Ala Raisman, and Gabby Douglas all finished in the top three during the qualifications. However, only Biles and Raisman advanced to the all-around final due to the rule. Gabby Douglas, despite being one of the top gymnasts, couldn't compete for an all-around medal. It's moments like these that spark debate among fans and athletes alike. Some argue that the rule diminishes the competition by not allowing the best athletes to compete, while others believe it ensures a fairer distribution of opportunities. When Jordan Chiles realized she wouldn't be advancing to the all-around final, it was a gut-wrenching moment. You could see the disappointment in her eyes, but also a spark of resilience. She's not one to give up easily. Chiles reflected on her journey, acknowledging how far she had come since Tokyo. It was clear that despite the setback, she was proud of her performance. Her coach, Cecile Landy, voiced what many were thinking. The gymnastics community and fans had a lot to say about the two per country rule. Some fans were outraged, feeling that the rule robbed Chiles of a deserved spot in the final. They argued that the best gymnasts should compete, regardless of nationality. On the other hand, some experts defended the rule, saying it promotes diversity and gives athletes from less dominant countries a chance to shine. Despite the heartbreak of not making it to the all-around final, there's a silver lining for Jordan Childs. She qualified for the floor exercise finals, and her Beyonce-inspired routine has been a hit. Her determination to keep competing even after such a disappointment, speaks volumes about her character and love for the sport. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.